hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Rasheen and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips about what you can take with you to Canada what you should take with you what you shouldn't take with you to Canada and just some overall packing tips for persons that are making the move so if you're interested in this type of video just stay tuned and keep on watching. so I migrated from Canada almost two years now so two plus years now and let me just say that I brought a ton of things that I didn't need to carry, okay? And at that time, I felt like there wasn't a lot of information online, like not as much as there are now about what to pack with you when you're making such a huge transition, a huge life decision. Like you're literally moving your entire life to start a new life in a different country and you may not see your country again for a while. So, when I was coming, I thought that I needed to bring everything, okay? Everything with me. Don't do that. <laughs> so, I'm going to link my initial video of like when I was packing to come here. You guys can check that out. I'm either going to link it here or in the description bar below. But I, I brought my whole bikini set. Like, I have a little obsession with bikinis. I'm from Jamaica, by the way, if you don't know. So, I go to the beach a lot. I love the beach. And I brought every single piece of swimwear that I owned. And to date, even up to now, I haven't worn one of them. So that's just to give you an example of how inefficient I packed on that first journey. So we're just going to go into sort of what are some of the things that you should bring, what are some of the things that you shouldn't bring, and then we'll go from there. I don't really have a particular order. Everything is sort of just like in my brain so the first thing i want to talk about is how many pieces of luggage you need to carry per person so if you're like an individual or you're coming as a family i believe that each person like you don't need more than two checked not four <laughs> you only need two checked bags a carry-on and a personal item you don't need more than that. I brought with me three check bags, a carry-on, and a personal item. Honestly, I don't believe that you need to have three check bags. Declutter, okay? So the first thing you want to do before you start packing is going through your closet, going through everything that you own, and decluttering, getting rid of things. Because almost everything that you need is here. And granted, you don't want to come here and have to like, buy things that's not the intention but you can survive on like items that are packed in two check bags a carry-on and a personal item that's my personal opinion i believe that i didn't need to bring all of the things i brought i was overweight i had to pay extra for bags and i i don't want you guys to go through that same experience right so that's it in terms of luggage like if you're an individual you don't need more than that so the next thing is what you bring with you is going to be dependent on, on the time of year that you come so someone has told me that canada has two winters like we experience winters like twice a year and it makes sense because we have winter in the first part of the year which is january february march and then at the end of the year again in november december so it's like you're experiencing winter twice in one year so i'm saying that to say that most of the time that you will be here it's gonna be cold okay it's gonna be freezing it's gonna be freezing or it's gonna be chilly so most of the items that you want to take with you are like items that are to be warmer especially if you're coming from like an island where it's sunny almost all year round so bear that in mind the body rider shorts the you know the tank tops you don't need a lot of that because summer is really just it's it comes and it goes just like that you don't really need a lot of summer items that being said if you're coming in the summertime like for example if you're starting school and you're coming in the summer then you want to hold on to a lot of those pieces because when it's hot it gets hot okay so it's not to say that you're not gonna bring pieces like summer pieces so bear that in mind so if you're coming in the spring summer you want to bring your shorts you want to bring your tank tops you want to bring your sleeveless your you know all of those types of clothing 
um you want to bring a lot of basic items as well like when i mean basic i mean like pieces of clothing that can go with everything that can be casual that can be dressy and you only really need to bring clothes that are going to last you for at least the first three to four months that you're here um after that really depends on personal preference clothes like you end up having to buy clothes anyway so you don't want to bring every single item of clothing that you own and by the time you get a chance to wear it it's like either out of style or you're just not feeling it anymore you know what i mean or you might gain weight from all of the the north american food that you're gonna start eating and then you're not gonna fit you so bring as much as you can that is gonna last like for the first three to four months that you're gonna be here if you're coming in the winter time even though you're coming in the winter of course you are gonna want warmer clothing however i would not recommend you purchasing like with your winter jacket or like your daily winter pieces where you're from if you're coming from a country that is not cold and even then like that those items are very bulky so i wouldn't recommend that what i would recommend is like if you have sweaters um you can purchase like sweaters online if you don't have those items because you really do want to have those layering pieces so bring your sweaters like bring your long pants bring your sweatpants your hoodies stuff like that but hold off on purchasing like your winter jackets like any kind of like outerwear because one those are really bulky and two you want to purchase your winter jacket here in canada because the outerwear that they sell here is specifically designed for a canadian winter okay they're expensive they are but once you invest in a good winter jacket you won't need to buy a winter jacket ever again so that's that those are the things in terms of like clothing items that i would recommend and just bear in mind that we have two winters and you want to make sure that most of your pieces are like sort of warmer items unless you're coming in the the thick of the summer okay um and don't follow me you don't need to bring all of all them two-piece bikinis there's no beach here okay unfortunately there's beach but it's not like our beach so <sighs> I say that to say it's not necessary so moving on now from like clothing items in terms of like personal items I would recommend that you bring all of the personal items like body care skincare um, stuff like that like specialized um, skincare that you want to use with you and the reason for this is one Canada is expensive I don't know if anyone told you but it's expensive um especially as it relates to those kinds of things so i would highly recommend like bringing all of your body care items with you like duplicates so at least you don't have to think about purchasing those items for at least a few months and then after you run out then you can start to purchase stuff here for me when i came i I don't know if you guys know earth elements or persons that live in jamaica i love earth elements i love their body scrubs like everything was like natural um like the shea butters and stuff like that i stocked up i had like three to six months worth of body products from them because they worked really well with my skin and i didn't want to have to change my skincare routine or my body care routine when i came here and the like the shea butter products like a lot of those like thick um like natural black girl black guy friendly items aren't as readily available here and if you find them here they're like really expensive so i would recommend those specialized if you know that your skin needs that extra moisture bring everything that is required for your body care and your skin care okay it's it's not cheap it's not cheap here at all so i would recommend bringing those items with you and in addition to that, I would also recommend bringing all of your medication, especially if like, you know, you're not, when you come for persons that are students, you might get a little bit of, you might get some coverage as it relates to like medical, it's not a lot. So things like medication, if you don't have OHIP, that's sort of like the health plan here if you, you're not working and your work doesn't provide you with health insurance things like medication they're actually very expensive so if you need like your specialized medication ensure that you have enough 
for the like for a while for however long you depending on if you have a medical condition or whatever the case may be bring a lot of painkiller like bring all of the medical things bring all of like your prescription items even over the counter stuff um expiry dates on a lot of them it's uh it's very long so you can bring those items again canada is expensive i can't stress how expensive the country is after a while you start you get used to it cost of living and you start to work and it, it, it makes sense but as a student or as like a newcomer that's coming and like trying to integrate into the canadian society you want to make sure that you have as much as of these essential items as possible so that you don't have to go out and purchase those things right because i'm pretty sure the move it has already been expensive for you and you still you want to just go and like try to like when you come not have to spend another million dollar on on items so that is my tip for that another um, major thing is probably the first thing i should have said but you want to bring all of your documents and when i mean all of your documents from your birth certificate to your driver's license if you want to come and you know start driving right away um you, you want to also get like your driver history from jamaica as well um ensure that you bring everything you want to bring um, immunization records you want to bring all of your you know school leaving documents your degrees your certificates if you if you're a very previous person um and you did like the west assessment you want to bring all of those credentials as well and don't forget your passport <laughs> you're going to need that um and of course your permit that you're going to well not the permit you don't get the permit but your um like letter of introduction just have like a big folder with all of the important documents that you need to bring with you because you are going to need them if you don't need them like right away eventually like when you apply for pr and when you apply for um jobs stuff like that depending you might need these items so I think for the most part, I've covered it. We went through clothes, personal items, the amount of luggage that you're supposed to bring, documents. In terms of shoes, it's the same thing with shoes. The shoes and the clothes go hand in hand. You don't need a lot of, um, you know, just sandals and um, spaghetti strap this and spaghetti strap that. I would recommend sneakers, like bring your nice sneakers with you. They, that's how they were here okay sneakers sneakers in the summer sneakers in the winter sneakers in the spring bring your sneakers um in terms of like winter boots again don't purchase those items um from home one they're chunky and two they it's it's just um best that you purchase them here because it's sort of tailored to the um the weather here so winter anything winter outerwear anything don't purchase from home purchase them here in terms of shoes again the sneakers you can bring a one sandals um for like inside the house or one sandals for like when the summertime comes around and again depending on what time you come so for example you come in the you come in december it's not gonna be warm again until may so December, January, February, March that's six months so by the time you pull out that the sandals where you care it dry rotten so that's what i mean about you know not doing too much not not being excessive in terms of the items that you won't be able to wear right away because by the time it's time for you to wear those items them either can't fit you or them dry rotten or you're just not interested in wearing those items and there's going to be so much sale like summer sale um winter sale like there's there's going to be all kind of sale and you're going to be so excited you're going to want to purchase things i recommend <laughs> i recommend you know like being easy on that but at the end of the day the idea is that you bring as much as you need right you're not going to bring everything so yeah, I think that I covered almost all of the categories. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful, like even a tiny bit. And um, if you're coming here, you know, congratulations. Uh, it's an exciting time. And I hope to, you know, maybe one of, the, one of these days, like meet some of you guys that are coming here as well. And, you know, if you're coming, 
leave a comment in the description and let's just have a conversation about what you would bring or what you're planning to bring and what you're not planning to bring so thanks again guys for watching and i will see you in the next one